good afternoon, folks. Uh, my name is Tim McKenna. I'm the police chief here in Charlotte. Um, just to give you an overall view of what happened, at 7.38 this morning, we got numerous calls to our dispatch center advising we had uh, multiple gunshots fired at Chardon High School, 151 Chardon Avenue. Uh, our units responded, mutual aid responded with the sheriff's department, uh, state patrol, a lot of other agencies that else uh, I can mention at a later time. But uh, tremendous uh, uh, arrival time. We got there, we were given notification by uh, the dispatcher that one of the teachers happened to chase the shooting suspect out of the building. Immediately at that point, our officers entered the building, went to the five injured students that were injured, and uh, got EMS in there right behind the door behind them. We had to make sure the building was safe for the firemen and the paramedics to go in the door. Uh, with that done, uh, we started searching the areas, and uh, shortly thereafter, we came up with the suspect. Um, he is in custody. No name will be released because he hasn't been charged yet. He is under juvenile. Uh, the sad news is that I know from uh, my people being downtown, we have one deceased student right now. Five injured. Uh, recently just got called that the one student has passed away. That's the sad news for all of us today. I want to assure our community of Chardon that we are safe. All the students at the high school and all our school campuses have been reunited with their parents. And uh, that's all I have to say at this time. So four injured, one deceased. At this time, we're going to introduce the superintendent for Chardon City Schools, Joe. Good afternoon. My name is Joe Bergant, the superintendent of Chardon Local Schools. Uh, at this time, I would like to thank our law enforcement, first and foremost, for their quick response. As you may have been aware from a conversation this morning, we've had a number of disaster drills in the past. Thank God we put those into place because our teaching staff did an excellent job in a, a very horrible, traumatic experience this morning. Um, our prayers go out to the five victims and their families, first and foremost. And again, we shift our mode into looking at them. We feel so, so disheartened. Um, take me a moment to get back together here a minute. Um, we certainly hope those families uh, know that they're, they're in our thoughts and our prayers. We will be having a, uh, a candlelight vigil service at St. Mary Church right across the street from our campus at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. We also have some grief counselors in place at our, here at our middle school right next to us beginning at 3 o'clock until 7 o'clock tonight. Anybody, teachers, students, community members who have been impacted by this tragedy. Once again, um, our students are safe. The remainder of our students are safe, home with their parents, 100% uh, across the board in the district as, as, as it has been reported to me. Once again, it's a horrible tragedy. Um, I just want to thank again, once again, our law enforcement, and I especially want to thank our teaching staff who are well prepared to respond to a tragedy of this nature. Thank you. Thank you.